Hello friends, welcome back to All and Unlaw. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is a fungi that is Aspergillus Aspergillus fumigatus. Fumigatus. Okay. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So let's start a discussion on this Aspergillus fumigatus, and this is for USMLE guys. So that's why I'm gonna talk only important points. That's it. So I'm not gonna talk in detail. That is a really very best for USMLE. So just important points for your USMLE step on examination. So Aspergillus fumigatus for USMLE. Try to remember if a patient with what do you call asthma. A patient with asthma or a patient with immunocompromised presence with the sign and symptoms of pneumonia uh, then think of for aspergillus fumigatus as a, one of the option okay uh, and you need to look for other what you call characteristics or other clinical features to different to diagnose the aspergillus fumigatus correctly so let's talk about this aspergillus fumigatus a, the, the features of this is it's a monomorphic filamentous fungi monomorphic filamentous fungi okay or filamentous fungus so let's let me draw here two 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 what do you call them So in usually they can give the shape like this. Okay, try to remember. It's a kind of ice cream like. Okay. So right. So let me draw another diagram that is that shows a monomorphic filamentous fungi aspergillus. Okay, so this is what the shape of uh, Aspergillus fumigatus looks like. So it is a uh, dichotomously branching. It's dichotomously dichotomously. Means they are branching into two. That's it. Remember like that dichotomously branching. Okay, and they're generally at acute angle. Or here you can see here's so acute angle, right? So it's a branching at the acute angles. Remember, the, and they have the frequent, uh, what do you call it, septate high fame. Septate high fame. High fame. Okay. So these are the important features for this. And Aspergillus fumigatus, a what do you call, a, a saprotroph, widespread in nature, and is typically found in a soil and decaying organic matters. Okay, such as compost heaps. Okay, and this. Aspergillus fumigatus really play important role in what you call um, in uh, carbon and uh, nitrogen recycling. Okay, guys. So um, just remember that like that. And the other important feature of this, the colonies of the fungus produce from conidiospores. Conidiospores, thousands of minute gray green conidia. Okay, that really become airborne. That's why if a patient is asthmatic, then they they are infect uh, what infected with this. And if they are what you call um, if they are immunocompromised, then they are infected with this, and the patients with the burns can be infected with this. Okay, so there are a lot many things, and uh, this bacteria is really very dangerous. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the condition diseases that it can cause. As we know that this causes acute allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Allergic bronchopulmonary ABPA. 
Aqui, a Logic Bronco Palmari. As for Gelosis. Okay, guys. So, in a patient with asthma or allergy, and the person with what you call sinus symptoms of pneumonia, then think of uh, bron uh, asthma, what you call uh, aspergillus fumigatus as a cause. Okay, guys. And the f it can present with a fungus ball. You know, fungus ball, this is a, if this is a lung, if this is a lung, okay, a left lung, then it can form a fungus ball over here. In x ray, they can, in your assembly, they can give you the x ray finding fungus ball okay so it's a free in preformed lung cavities okay and what are the precautions that we should recommend we to take out from the lung the chances of a bleeding okay so just remember this this is also very important because in usmle they can ask you what's a which of the following could be the risk if we remove the fungus ball or soon after removal of the fungus ball the patient went into the hemodynamic unstable instability and then what is the cause for that so just remember like that okay so and it has another thing that's invasive aspergillosis or severe neutropenia or chronic uh, what you call uh, cystic fibrosis burns patients okay it invades the tissues causing infarcts and the hemorrhages okay and if it colonizes in the nasal cavity and causes meningitis it can cause pneumonia so these are the important uh, what you call the clinical conditions of uh, opportunity uh, what you call aspergillus fumigatus infection so um, this fungi just in for your assembly sake just remember that uh, your patient with asthma developing pneumonia think of aspergillus fumigatus a patient with immunocompromised having this infection having pneumonia think of this uh, cavity lesion with a fungus ball think of this burn patient with fungal infection think of this okay and the separate hyphae branch at acute angles really very important points so how would you treat that treatment is by atraconazole or amphotericin b atraconazole or amphotericin b amp b okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys take care